U.S. Water Rockets MST430 Launch Pad Electronics Tutorial How to add horizontal stabilizers to an MST430 launch pad for breadboarding. In our previous tutorial, we demonstrated a simple way to remove and replace the male headers which are installed on newer versions of the MSP430 launch pad with female headers, which are much more convenient for breadboarding. The only drawback to this method is that you will no longer be able to use booster packs with the modified MSP430 launch pad. This tutorial will show you a different way to modify your MSP430 launch pad for breadboard use without losing booster pack compatibility. The only tools required for this tutorial are a soldering iron and some solder. Let's get started. Take a new MSP430 launch pad, flip it over, and lay the pins of the female header against the back of the board. Align the female pins with the male pins protruding through the board. Now you can tack one pin of the female header in place by heating the solder with your soldering iron. Repeat this procedure for the second female header on the other side. Check that your female headers are now correctly positioned and straight and then solder each female pin to the male header pin protruding through the back of the board. That's it, that's all there is to it. Your MSP430 launch pad has now been fitted with horizontal stabilizers which you can use when you want to experiment or prototype using breadboards and jumpers. With this modification, your MSP430 launch pad is still 100% compatible with booster packs. In fact, when using horizontal stabilizers, you can even use booster packs and breadboards at the same time. For more rocketry and MSP430 launch pad related projects, software, demonstrations and tutorials, please visit uswaterrockets.com. Thanks for watching.